Hey family, it's your girl attorney Brunel Donald Che. I'm going to do a quick scripture today and a little bit of a of a little situation that I dealt with this morning. Um and um it, let's just dive into the scripture. The scripture is um 2 Timothy 1 and 7, and it says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You know, this scripture means so much to me right now. Um, and not that it didn't before, but it, it it's always had a very special place in my heart as I have matured in the Lord. And so today I'm just going to talk about a little bit about what I, um, what I woke up to this morning. Now, as many of you know, um, I saw my mother murdered when I was 10 years old and I'm 45 now. And um, I've had to overcome that. I've had to, you know, try to put it in the back of my mind to, you know, to be able to function for my family, for my um, ministry, for my business and things like that. And so I try my hardest not to think about it. I try not to think about my mother for that reason, because of the way she was brutally murdered. And so this morning as I was coming out of my sleep, I saw the face of the man that murdered my mother. And I, it was the night that he murdered her, November 5th, 1985. He was, it was like I could see him from his point of view, him looking down upon my mother. And he was stabbing her. He was looking her straight in her eyes as he stabbed her. And with tears rolling down her eyes, he saw the tears and he kept stabbing her. And it was playing over and over in my mind as I was waking up. And when I woke up, I came out of it now. And I was just thinking on it. And, you know, the Lord had to rescue my mind because I became overwhelmed inside of me with the thought of who, why would you hate my mother so much? Because she owed you $250. You stabbed her 31 times in front of her 10-year-old daughter. And the hate in his eyes, as I could see it from his point of view, he stabbed my mother even as I was watching until the breath was out of her body. He wanted to make sure she was dead. And he stabbed her more even as she was dead and not breathing. I thank the Lord that I'm not out of my mind. I thank the Lord that he knows how to pull me back to him, to my right mind, to my senses. I thank the Lord that he has not forgotten me, that that he heard my cry in my heart, that he rescued me um, from the thoughts of that night. And so this scripture means so much to me right now because the Lord has not given me a spirit of fear, which is what was gripping me. It was it was trying to take a hold of me again, 35 years later. And I thank the Lord that he doesn't give me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And I thank the Lord today that he snatched me back from fear into a sound mind mind. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for always being there for me when I don't even know what to do, where to go, who to think, what to say, Lord. Thank you for your grace and mercy that has kept me, God. Thank you for a right mind, God. Thank you for your love and your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord God, that you've never forsaken me, even when I felt alone lord i was never lonely because your word says you'll never leave me or forsake me god bless you god bless your family and god bless america bye for now